we got independence in 1962, mm. but we were soon in crisis. Mm. Uh, crisis 1966. Mm. Then eventually, but during that time, around 65, mm. that's when we started a student movement mm. here. Mm. The student movement was rejecting all of this nonsense. Mm. We were saying no. We don't accept sectarianism. We want people's interests. Mm. So w w w the crisis was going on, mm. but we were also building. Mm. Until I mean, came in. I mean, came in 1971. Mm. Now we went from mobilization. Mm activism to armed struggle. Mm. And uh, eventually we, we defeated uh, Idi Amin, 1979-80. But we were together with other people, with the mm. Tanzania, with mm -hmm. what? Uh, the political issues were not resolved, so we fought mm. okay. <laughs> another war, 81-86. Mm. That, that's how we came in. So therefore, in Uganda eventually, mm a national force came up yeah. from the student movement mm -hmm. and uh, this this national force mm -hmm. was built a political party mm -hmm. which was national but also army yeah. that's how we were able to mm -hmm. stabilize uganda mm -hmm. now when we created some stability here mm -hmm. then all these groups here started uh, mm -hmm. trying to do the same mm -hmm. to, to copy our Mm. Our example. Mm. The president of the continent is facing many challenges, and uh, particularly as regards the problem of security. In your uh, region, in the Great Lakes region, and the eastern part of Africa, that is, in the East African region. East African on deployment. In fact, that is the reason why I wanted to talk with, uh, with you, to discuss with you because uh, there is already a force of East Africa which is uh, deployed, including uh, troops uh, from your uh, country. The SADC also is intending to deploy uh, uh, troops uh, in the coming weeks. And what we need is to coordinate all these uh, efforts, all these. And then there is also a negotiation that is going on in, in Nairobi in order to bring about peace and uh, stability.